Hi, I'm Chi. I'm from Oakland, California. Just recently moved back from New York, and I'm here on Delicious Teens to show you how to make mentaiko pasta. It's a spaghetti style dish, but with a Japanese flair to it, using pollock roe instead of traditional spaghetti sauce. So these are the ingredients for mentaiko pasta. Olive oil, fresh lemon juice is fantastic if you have it. Bottled lemon juice works fine if you're lazy. Seasoned pollock roe is a little bit spicy and you can find it in most Asian markets. Butter and spaghetti. For garnish for this dish, you're gonna have roasted seaweed. First, we're gonna boil the pasta and then we're gonna mix all this together and then we're gonna feed Clarence. And then blast for me, I use chopsticks for everything. Where did you learn to cook? Uh, my mother would swear that I still can't cook, but um, I developed an interest in cooking growing up in the Bay Area because there's so many farmer markets and so much produce and just so many resources here that I started going grocery shopping when I saw stuff that was fun. And, you know, watching the cooking channel and going online and looking up recipes and testing new stuff. And I've screwed up a lot of food, a lot of food. And then a couple years ago, I did one of those reality television shows for cooking. It was fun. British guy with the wrinkles yelled at me a little bit. Not allowed to talk about it, it is. Um, I'm gonna cut up the seaweed. It's called harikiri seaweed. It's needle cut seaweed. So, you wanna keep the pasta hot. No need to rinse it in cold water. The starch makes it sticky and the sauce will stick better to it anyway. So about two tablespoons of butter, roughly two tablespoons of olive oil as well. That's gonna be the base for the sauce. And then we're gonna take the pollock roe. What kind of fish is pollock anyway? What kind of question is that? It's a fish that swims in the water. I don't know. Aquatic fish? It's an aquatic fish, Clarence. You sound like you know what you're talking about. No idea what I'm talking about. It's an equipment. You just slit it right up the side with your kitchen scissors, like this. Just going to squeeze the eggs out. Mine's still a little bit frozen, but the butter and the olive oil is at room temperature, or a little warmer than room temperature, so it'll, it'll thaw. You don't want it to be too hot, though, because you don't want the pollock roe to cook. And about how much are you using? Um, it's really to taste, but I would say that you probably need about four tablespoons per serving. There we go. Look at all that roe. Lemon juice, about a teaspoon. That adds a little bit of brightness to the flavor, and then mix it up. Now, that's going on the pasta. We'll add a good dollop. And again, this is to taste. If you want more, if you want less, you can do it however you feel you want to. Mix it up. Now it's just a matter of plating it. Sprinkle the seaweed on the top. That's the mentaiko pasta. Pretty simple, right? I'm gonna get a fork so you can eat this. Let's see how much you can stuff in this base at once. Mmm. That's super good. I like it because it has like the um Based on the color, your, your brain's telling you, oh, it's gonna be like a tomato of some sort. And it kind of does this other thing. Yeah. And it's Salty, like that briny, briny. The mm. little acid from the lemon. I like that. Works, right? Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than second bite. Is it? So is it a delicious ting? Definitely delicious ting. <laughs> oh my god. All right, people, we're gonna be doing more of these with cheese, so stay tuned.